Oh, it's working. Huh. He may be an unhinged egotistical maniac, but his cosplay game is on point. Sweet, another achievement. I gotta see what that one was. <laughs> what was it, man? What was it? Find the hidden picture in chapter two. Oh, so that's a hidden achievement thing? Cool. Sweet, let's go blow up that fucking door. Although, I have to go right up to the door to blow it up. This might not be good. But, the good part is I don't think you can die in this game. <laughs> door ready for breach. I've applied the gunpowder, but I need something to ignite it. Damn it! Okay, I already picked that up. I don't know, let's see if we can pick it up again. I don't need any more saltpeter. No. Oh, joy. You again. Hey, great! You stopped reading that book. I had no choice. The library is approximately as quiet as an opera about cannons. I might as well take a break and try to get some real work done. Now you're talking! What are you working on? Larry Plotter fan fiction, obviously. Oh, for crying out loud. Weren't you working on something before you started reading those books? What concern is it of yours? I'm a fellow scientist. I, too, seek answers to life's great mysteries. If you must know, I was researching the motion of heavenly bodies. You mean like supermodels? Planets, you dimwit. <laughs> is trying to determine what dictates the nature of their motion around the sun. You should spend some more time on that planet thing. I bet you're really close. To be honest, I had already been stuck for weeks when I stopped working on it. I hardly expect a solution to just fall out of the sky now. See, I'm right about the fucking apple thing. That's the fall out of the sky thing. I know it. Oh, I am holding on to some mail. No, that's the mail I put in his thing. Uh, Looks like you have some mail. Yeah. Oh, perhaps my Larry Plotter fan club application has been approved. <laughs> that was kind of cute. Oh, he opened the gate. What we got here? Flamingo? <laughs> I must say, I am somewhat impressed with your form. So impressed that you aren't going to kick me out? Ah! Aww. Talk to him again so he opens it. Gotta get him to open the gate again. I'll be right back. Hooray! So, I heard you know a lot about optics. Yes, what of it? I have a question. What do you think would happen if, like, a, a meteor hit a volcano while it was, like, erupting? Oh, dear. I'm afraid you confused optics with utter nonsense. Psh. Fine. Okay, so I'll I guess right that's back. it. Hooray. Okay, we're gonna go back to Robin Hood. See if he can drop an apple on his fucking head.
you know what like honestly i don't know if maybe <laughs> maybe i think a little too logically in games but this is supposed to be a kids game like how would how would kids get past all these parts <laughs> just saying Okay, Robin Hood. Let's do this. Huh? Oh, come on, Robin Hood. Do we have anything new in here? No. Okay, go again. Get that apple. Huh? Damn it, Robin. Okay, what's next here? <laughs> oh, you know what? I know what's next. Uh, we don't seem to be losing mail, so maybe if I put more letters in his mailbox, then he'll open up the gate again. And then what we'll do is hide behind those bushes that were beside the flamingo. If this works, I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, that did. Let's see. I think some more mail arrived. Well, that's odd. I wonder if this time it's actually addressed to me. Ch <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I just deliver the mail. Get behind the bushes. Did it work? Thanks for the help, conveniently placed bushes. Kelvin, what did you do? Well, I certainly didn't just talk to some bushes. Kelvin, Isaac Newton is currently known throughout history. Perfect. Mission accomplished. For having written the single worst fan fiction ever. Oh, okay. But how do we know that isn't what he's supposed to be famous for? The fan fiction is titled Larry Plotter and the Insufferable Nuisance in the Ugly Vest. <laughs> well, I mean, that could be anybody. Damn it, Kelvin! The temporal lattice is starting to unravel! I'll do what I can to stabilize it from here, but you need to fix whatever you did and fast! Lease out! <laughs> That's hilarious. Water well? There's a plum bob hanging from the well. There's a plumb bob. Okay, we get it. We get it. What was that? Tongs? These are full of something dark and viscous. Oil, maybe? Do I have anything? No. I know what the tongs are for, though, so we'll be back. The tongs are for um, picking up the coal. I'm guessing, anyway. Seems logic to me, but... That is part of my problem in games, is uh, thinking logically. <laughs> I 
I hope the gate stays open though, because I don't have letters anymore, right? Oh, I do. I do. I just keep the letters. That's kind of nice and convenient. Oh yeah, that'll be perfectly safe in your backpack. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, let's bring the hot coal to the door. I'm guessing anyway. Say your prayers, door. <laughs> Kelvin, I managed to buy us a little more time, but... Kelvin, you have the look in your eye that you get whenever you explode something. Did you explode something? Me? No! Kelvin... Okay, maybe, but it's critical to the mission. This door was, like, super locked. Did you try knocking? Knocking is for chumps, Lise. You've always said that. I have literally never said... Uh-oh. Kelvin, I just picked up another disturbance. This one's real bad. Get Newton sorted now. Er, then? Whatever. Ten. Nice statues. What, what the... How did you get up here? I used the door, silly. Hmm. The door was supposed to be locked. Please leave! My art requires the utmost precision. What happens if you mess up? This culture is a ruin, of course. The slightest imperfection transforms a timeless masterpiece into a bumpy, worthless slab. Ah, oh, don't mess up. Thanks for the tip! <laughs> Did you carve the statue of Lupin down in the library? <laughs> that wooden monstrosity with a loose left hand? Not on your life. Brilliant or otherwise, Edwin Lupin is not what I would call statue material. That middle statue looks a little crooked to me. Impossible! I checked its orientation repeatedly as a child. Professor Newton even lent me one of his experiments for that very purpose. Okay. So I'm guessing we have to fix the statue. See you around. Please lock the door as you leave. Uh, there is no door. <laughs> Just an empty bowl. Yeah, there's the gear thing. What'd we just do? Okay. Rusty gear. Let's unrust that gear. The rust came right off. Amazing. Oh god, I sound like an infomercial. sure how those go together. Fine, Kelvin. Getting sick of that line. You got anything new to say? Nope. I'll go right. De 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 de. Looks like this controls the ball return. Uh-oh. Looks like this ball return has a faulty, uh, transistor. A faulty what? Transistor. It's highly technical. Fortunately, I have a replacement right here. Go ahead. Take a test shot.
Yeah, <laughs> you suck. Good as new. Okay, bye. Sweet. I know, right, Kate? As I play it, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I keep playing it because I like it. But, holy crap, the puzzles and, like, the shit you gotta do to get to the next step. That's why I'm a little surprised it's a kid's game. Like, when we were kids, did we really think about this? Did we know how to make fucking gunpowder? <laughs> you know? Or fix machines and... He's still whacking himself in the head. Okay, let's throw the ball at the dog. Oh, it's working. But he's got... Okay. I didn't think that his little kit was attached to him. Yeah, I just fixed that. Jeez. So I wonder if we never really had to fix the fence. <laughs> I'm starting to think that. Okay, so... Scissors. Okay, um, I got an idea for the scissors. What a disaster. <laughs> Was that plum bob? Clocks. This guy sure likes his clocks. Okay, that's it for. I think that's it for that area. I don't know what else to do there. So, we'll go back to Robin Hood. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on. Maybe all this shit helps us pick up this magnet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how those go together. I don't know either, man. Not sure. I'll need to pick the magnet up to do anything useful with it. What about the disc? I'll need to pick the magnet up to do anything useful with it. Please Fine. do not touch the magnet unless you have a scholarly reason to do so. Okay, well, how do you pick it up then? Seriously, man. What am I missing here? I'm, Actually, here, I'm to... here to inspect the magnet yeah. for uh, magnetic distortions. Extremely dangerous. Oh, dear. Please, feel free to take a look. I do ask, however, that we keep the magnet inside the library. Okay, that worked. See you around. Should have thought about talking to him again a while back. Um. Whoa, this disc is seriously magnetized. Okay, I think that's it. I hope so. Ugh, okay, so how's chat doing? Have a good sleep, shotgun. 
thanks for uh, being part of the stream tonight, and we will see you again. Dro. You can't win anything tonight? You playing leak? <clears throat> oh, and Kate, um, you will be so happy to know that Diz actually um, gave me the Jackbox collection. So we got the murder stuff and all that. I found that out... Um, just shortly before stream, actually, when I walked in, walked into Steam. I'm thinking maybe this plum bob is for the statue, maybe. Where were we put it, though? I'm not sure how those go together. Uh, okay, maybe it goes on the hand. But wouldn't that make her more crooked? I don't know. <laughs> now it looks like she's got a yo-yo. <laughs> Do I have to put something else? I wouldn't think we put the disc. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, we do? No, really. Look, look, look. The statue is super crooked. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Mon Dieu, I can't believe it. But you're right. I must correct this immediately. Yeah, that's really corrected, buddy. <laughs> Looked better the first way. No interruptions. I am hours behind as it is. Okay. <laughs> right, Kate. Okay, let's see what what we got in here. It's still just the horn and the letters. Um, I guess we'll go back, see. He's still fiddling with the machine, trying to get his ball back. Larry Plotter, he was pulled toward the ground with a force proportional to proportional to. Oh, there we go. Inspired. So I got Newton to stop writing that lousy fan fiction? Uh, not quite. He just changed the title to Larry Plotter in the Inverse Square Law of Gravitation. But, you know, close enough to save the universe. So can I come home now? Please? Sorry, Kelvin. There's at least one more anomaly we need to fix immediately. Lame. Why don't <laughs> we switch jobs for this one? Oh, because you don't know how to use any of the equipment in the lab? Except the massage chair. He has a name, please. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. Time machine coming. This isn't where I left my loofah. 